y'all. It's Natalie and I thought that you would like to see a little unboxing of my Not Just For Boys Kit Club for August. Let me see what we got here. I've been holding on to it for a few days. I haven't had a chance to dig in and I'm super excited. Um, I like to grab the names of things. So, we, I, I got both of the kits. Ooh, I think I got three kits, but one of them, um, we won't be working with for the month, but it's just like supplemental. Hmm. Gonna have coffee in the morning, right? So, always packaged so cute with their just for boys. Tissue and then adorable twine, which if you are not reusing this, like, do it. It's so good. It's so good for all your tags and your bows and, and, yeah, it's amazing. There's some beautiful acrylics. We'll get into those later. Let's go for the kits first. And then we will get into like all the add-ons and everything. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys these. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. Which is which, let's see. That's the journey. Okay, we'll start with the little one, the little add-on kit because it's so cute. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but here where I live, it is already back to school time. My kids start back to school on August 1st. Like what, what? Wild, right? So they're offering a, a mini back to school kit, which is super cute. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it because we went shopping last night and both of my boys picked out purple back to school shirts. So that's not gonna match this. Maybe we will take black and white photos this year. <laughs> but this is so cute. Actually, I probably have like tons of older photos too that I can use because I love, love, love this backpack paper. So it comes with this adorable adhesive brads. I love that they're adhesive so you don't have to stick them through your paper. Um, and these look like little pieces of chipboard. So those are really cute. Um, but just like, you know, your basic back to school, Apple schoolhouse, a little owl that's from Echo Park. You have this back to school paper with the um, backpacks, which is what sold me on this kit. It's so cute. And then it has a nice little red on the back. This um, turquoise plaid is perfect. And it's like got the big and the, and the little, so it matches really well. Ooh, I love this. It's like got some texture to it. It's like a mm, Swiss dot almost, a mustard. Love that as well. Ooh, this kit. Yo, they are so good at putting kits together. Like they are so talented because beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then a sticker sheet from the Back to School Collection by Echo Park. Excuse me. Um, it is so hot here. That's another reason why it's starting school so early. Like it's so hot. Like our tap water came out lukewarm this morning at nine o'clock. Anyway, my allergies are acting up because of it. But here is the I Love School um, acrylic cut and it's so precious and it goes with this so well. And then let's see, what else do we have? These, these little pencils. And they also match the kit. Aren't they cute? They're so adorable. Very cute. So I'm excited to use that kit to document some back to school photos. I still need to go back and finish documenting last year's photos. Um, let's see, is there, and um, there's also a cut file. So I think this one, it's like chalkboards. And then this one, which I guess they're whiteboards now, I'm old. <laughs> as a wreath with a pencil and a heart, which I really like. And then I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not sure where this comes, but it very well might go with this back to school. It says, here comes trouble. So I'll just show it to you now. Um, that's cute because, um, so that's what's fabulous about the cardstock cuts is like, you can order them for whatever, right? So you don't have to have them accompany a kit. So here comes trouble. I mean, that could go for anything. I could go for your dog. I could go for your husband. I could go for all kinds of things, I think. So next we'll get into this one. And so this one is called the Wild Adventure Page Kit. And it's so good. 
So it's kind of like a zoo theme and I know exactly what photos that I want to use with it. Um, I have a ton of zoo photos already printed from a birthday trip that I took back with the boys when they're very little and I've never done anything with them and I'm like, why? So now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna, guys, you hold me to it. So we have a honeybees stamps stencil and it's all these leaves and I love foliage and I love these leaves. And also, I don't think I've ever had a honeybee stamp stencil because that looks like kind of a little bit different than what I have in my stash. Um, a, a different kind of plastic maybe? So this is from the Little Explorer Echo Park collection and I love this plaid, it's so good. And I love, I love green, green is my favorite. So it has a green dot on the back and then we have a solid with a nice muted blue and a muted orange. I'm a sucker for good leopard print. Right now I'm in my Barbie era so we're really pink, but like always, I always go back to leopard print. Fun fact, my room in high school was leopard print, <laughs> but like tastefully done because my mom is fancy and it's cut apart on the side that's fun so that'll be good and these are good for a lot of different things like they could just be good for scrapping little kids that love animals they could be good for a zoo trip they could be good for a safari trip they could be good for um a disney trip animal kingdom if you like to, uh, animal kingdom is my favorite disney park so it'd be fabulous for that um little explorer we got like a zebra -ish or a leaf you could call it and then leaves on the back love leaves and then this one has a few animals but they're cute animals really cute and giraffe and then your your solids because of course Meredy designs a double page spread and you can follow her design or you can follow one of our designs or you can make up your own design but she gives you that to follow her design and um this adorable sticker sheet i really love it it's super cute i love the color scheme in this it's very nice and then you also get um an inklings uh, in emerald city which is like the perfect matching green and a creamies in sage it isn't so so two greens which we all know i love that'll be fun i can't wait to decide what to do with that and let me see if i have any let's see yes i have those i think those are the only things that go with this oh no just kidding so um you get this cardstock cut and it says at the zoo obviously that'll be perfect for my intended plans although now that i've said animal kingdom i'm kind of like got my brain on animal kingdom photos because i do still have some of those that need to be scrapped but i just loved these little monstera leaves that i just had to um get those too because i love monsteras i have a giant one and i've recently propagated it and I love it so much it's so pretty I think it's taking I check its little roots like every few days and I think it's taking and that one that I'm propagating is living outside but anyway I digress this is not a plant channel because I am not here to tell anybody how to grow a plant let me tell you that <laughs> all right so this is the the main attraction the intrinsic limitless kit for August 2023 let's dig in so, it's kind of like got a steampunky vibe and feel to it. So, I'm super excited to do that. It's a little different. And to be honest with you, I don't know what um, photos I'm using yet. But I'm hoping looking through this will kind of tell me. And I'm loving this. Okay, so this goes back to, uh, I think in like March we first had this company, Uniquely Creative, and they're out of Australia. And their papers are fabulous. So, it's like so smooth and beautiful. But I really love this wood grain. And this is from their Main Street collection. And this one's called Parking Lot. And it has a really nice pattern on the other side. Oh, this is fun. So this is a reminisce paper. And it's called Airship, Airship Dream. And it's Splendid Steampunk is the collection. So there you go. Steampunk vibes all the way. That is super fun. I feel like um, if he were up here with me, he would totally love this kit. Like if you were looking for it. This is fun. So it's just like a rusty piece of paper. I like that another rusty piece and this is from a different collection by reminisce it's from the garage grunge collection and this one's called grunge rust Ooh, i'm getting i'm getting car vibes maybe we'll do another car page oh i like that page too my um husband recently sold his um old mustang but we took some pictures and stuff so those could be cool to do oh mushrooms yes so there is a mushroom vibe and theme so maybe an outdoorsy layout i like this it's like old you know scientific books with 
mushroom. So this is probably 49th and Market, yeah. 49th and Market, the Curator's Meadow Collection. Um, their papers are so thick. That's how I knew who it was before I looked down there. And then this one is Curator's Meadow as well. And it's got like a bluey purple tinge to it, which I really like. A really nice solid background, both of those. Oh, I like this. This is from the Boho Baby Collection. I think that's Simple Stories. Yes, Simple Stories. And this is a dot, like a black, muted black and white dot with butterflies on the other side from the Boho Baby Collection. And another Simple Stories, this is their cards, uh, their Color Vibe Collection, wood grain paper, but the other side's ledger, yep. So the one side is ledger and the one side is wood grain. I love those collection books. Like, those are fabulous for background papers, right? And so with this intrinsic limitless kit, you also get this really cool um, stencil. So it's not like to spell out words. It's like all these letters and some numbers and symbols is um, joined together. It's a Stamparia stencil, but um, that'll be really cool and give a really nice layered grunge feel. Um, which can we just talk about how everything is cool again? That was cool in like the mid nineties, which is awesome. And like grunge. Mm, yes. I was into it. I was into it. So I'm super excited about it. Like I got me some Doc Martens last year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love these, um, Alta new enamel dots. These can go for such a long time. And I also love that they have the little, the shapes that aren't circles. Ooh, this is so fun. So this says Rome. The R is a little twisted, but um, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a really cool finish on it. It's it's almost like a little rusty or or iodized. So I love that. That's really cool. It's like an orangey color. And then you get these little um, charms. And so they are brass and they say love, family, fearless, inspire, dream, beautiful, brave. So we could do a lot of fun things with those. Um, let's see, you get a cardstock cut that is um, banners. So that's fun. Cause again, with the steampunk vibe, like that kind of goes, I think. Do like a raggedy banner. Um, you get Curator's Meadow Ephemera Bits. And I won't go through them all, but we will like just take a look at them real quick because I know that a lot of people have commented and say they like to look, they like it when I flip through a little bit so they can kind of see what's inside. So this is Curator's Meadow. So it's gonna be like, some, some nature vibes, right? Um, which I love. Um, I like that there was like the old scientific journals where you're like drawing the wilderness and I like that. So we have some florals, some wildflowers. We have some creams with brown tints. We have greens and we have coral and burnt orange. Um, lots of little tickets and tabs and i love 49th and market um ephemera packs because they're just huge i like these these are fun they look like they have stitching on the side that's really cool um and they're all they're huge and they all kind of have similar vibes but they change things up and i like that and i appreciate that but also you can mix and match them really well so if you've gotten the other kits that included 49th and market um, ephemera, you can mix and match really well if the other kits kind of correspond with some colors you're trying to use. So I like that. Always love their butterflies that they have in. Um, Katie, I don't know how to say her last name. Katie Pertit, I think is how you say it. Um, she's truly a genius. She, I think she designs all their stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming she's the owner, but um, I don't think I've ever seen anything else that was not designed by her, but she's incredible. Like all the things that she comes up with, her designs are beautiful. I love everything that 49th The Market does. And they put out a lot. So we got a lovely, like a butter yellow butterfly. I love that, that's beautiful. These are really fabulous. Oh, look at the fungus. I love a good mushroom. <laughs> And, and you, I'm serious. My husband will always be on, on a hike. I'll be like, do you need to stop and take a picture of that mushroom? Yes, thank you. Thank you for recognizing my needs. I do. <laughs> Look how cute. I love those colors. This is fabulous. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting some fall vibes. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm getting some fall vibes in here, and I'm here for it. I know it's just August, and it's hot as anything, but... Let's bring it on, bring on the cool, I'm ready. Look at these, these are so good. So these are little squishy fabric hearts and they match this collection so beautifully. So I love them so much. 
And then this is beautiful. It's a compass, but very intricate with all the um, foliage on it and everything. C for compass. <laughs> Look it. Look at this. Is it um, acrylic? And this one is, um, I don't want to tell you wrong. She asked me what color I wanted. And one was brown and one was gray. And I honestly don't know. I think I must have told her brown. Because that's pretty brown, right? Um, but the gray one was also fabulous. And it would go so well with this kit. But look how cute that is. Mushrooms are cute. And then this one, they have um, two versions. So, make which makes sense. Because I'm sure she cuts out of the acrylic and then mixes and matches, right? It says Wanderlust. So, it's like creamy. It's a cream color background with gray inside. Or they also have a gray background with the cream inside. So, super fabulous. I love that Wanderlust. So, ooh, I can't wait to decide how I'm gonna use it. I have a lot of ideas spinning in my head. I hope that you um, have liked what you saw. Let me know if you have any questions. I will put the links down below to all of these kits. Um, they do tend to sell out fairly early, so grab them on August 1st or 2nd or 3rd if they're still there. Um, but let me know if you have any questions, and I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Bye, y'all.